Hey everybody, Christopher Odd here, and I'm bringing you a small little indie game. It's called Portal 2. Uh, I found it just on some weird forums, and it's made by a small indie developer. They're called Valve. Uh, you should look them up. They're doing a lot of cool games, like uh, they did one called Half-Life. They've done something called Left 4 Dead. They've done something called Rainbows and Bunnies. It's pretty cool, and uh, you guys should check them out. Very cool little ind indie developer. Uh, this is one of their cooler games called Portal 2, and I'm very excited about it. So, <laughs> uh, let's jump in. I've never played Portal 2 before. I just finished Portal 1. Freaking awesome. And, uh, yeah, I've been really looking forward to this. So, here we go. suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. <laughs> you will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Okay. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. <laughs> Good. What? This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. <laughs> okay, yeah, staring. <laughs> this is awesome you already. Hello. Mentally reinvigorated. <laughs> If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. <laughs> what? Oh my now, god. Now please return to your bed. One thing I, I think I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna actually turn off the subtitles. Let me know if you guys have a problem with that after this episode, but the reason I'm doing that is because... Where is it here? The reason I want to do that is because I don't want any of these jokes to be ruined by me reading ahead, so, um, yeah. Oh, I guess we're sleeping. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. This courtesy call Hello? is for you. Anyone in there? Subject should vacate the enrichment Hello? immediately. Any test subject Are you going to open the door? Look at my outline in the bed. His or her Hello? Remain in extended nope. relaxation. For the Are you going to open this door? Because it's, fa it's fairly urgent. Or concerns regarding this policy, <laughs> or just open the door. That's true. Hello, friend. Complimentary Why not open the door? How long will he talk like left. this for? Could Good be luck. Spanish. Could be Spanish. Hola, amigo. <laughs> Abre la puerta. Donde esta... No, um... <laughs> fine, no, fine, absolutely fine. It's not like I don't have, you know, 10,000 other test subjects begging me to help them escape. You know, it's not like this place is about to explode. <laughs> All right, look, okay, I'll be honest. You're the last test subject left, and if you don't help me, we're both going to die. All right, I didn't want to say it. There you go. You've dragged it out of me. All right, dead. <laughs> Dos muerte. Oh, my God. Open the door. All right, let's ah. go. Ah! God, Whoa! God, you That's not what I was expecting. Um, Good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are, are you... Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Slow. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all I'm saying. Prepare. It's all fine. All right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to what? You. Well, Hello? kind of. <laughs> Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. 
but don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand <laughs> what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Uh, just tell me. Just say yes. Space to speak. Okay. What you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. <laughs> say apple. Apple. <laughs> Okay, you know oh what? That's gosh. close enough. Just hold tight. <laughs> All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Oh shit. Whoa! Okay, look, I wasn't gonna mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. You think? How are you doing down there? You still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on! This is a bit tricky! And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. <laughs> why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? But I love space. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Just, just got to get through here. Oh. I, I just got to concentrate. Is, is he bold, driving this thing? Be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables. Alright, so now I hit that one. I hit that one. Oh, okay, listen, shit. We should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's gonna ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. Alright? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. It's it's a little bit lower, bud. Good news. That is not a docking station. <laughs> so there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Could get a bit technical. Yeah. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Oh, cool. There we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But, um... At least you're a good jumper, so you got that, got the jumping <laughs> on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. This is hilarious. What the hell? That's the spirit. Oh. Hello, and again, welcome to oh, the Aperture Science look at this. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond <laughs> our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Wow, this is awesome. A little bit of a flashback happening here. Shelly Willy. And I gotta do it, because I did it in the first one. Put something in the toilet. No? There we go. <laughs> Let's take my radio with me this time. There was something to do with radios in the first one about making them, like, lose uh, their connection or something if you took it to a certain place. I don't know. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. Okay, sweet. Please oh, this is awesome. Please incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized <laughs> equipment that passes through. That's awesome. So much for my damn radios. This is wild. I had played it so recently, so this all just looks really familiar.
If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I mean, we should be fine then. Oh, Jesus. Here we go. It's happening. Oh, shit. Okay, and what if I go over here? Alright, so... This one's got a cube, so I guess I'm gonna go there first. Now, people were suggesting to look around a lot, and that's that's my preferred way of playing any of these type of games, because there's just so many things that you can miss, and uh, I don't want to do that. I gotta say, this looks amazing, actually. This is, like, very well done. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your Whoa. test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. <laughs> currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to, or is incapable of listening to a <laughs> Leopard print turret, holy shit. That's awesome. Not that I like leopard print all that much, but I'm just saying, that is pretty great. Are turrets taking over the world? Animal king takeover. <laughs> Two. All right, it's go time. Hey, you made it. Hey, there should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. <laughs> Do I go have a quick look? Yeah, thanks. Who is this guy, anyways? It's all right. No, go on, just have a look about. No, that's right. Over by the podium. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, great. Of course. Son Hello? of a bitch. Can you see the portal gun? Also, are you alive? If that's important, you should have asked that first. Like, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. Okay. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. Alright? Brilliant. <laughs> Go team! Holy team shit, it's alive. too funny. Whoa. This was like that robot thing at the very end of Portal 1, I think. This is people going crazy, dying. This is me. That's creepy. And my cake, finally. <laughs> What's going on over here? That's me again as well. What the hell? Who's drawing me? Crazy. Slightly creepy, actually. I've got questions. Oh, does it always show me where my portals are, like through the walls like that? That's interesting. I guess you don't get, like, confused. Like, you know, like, whatever, like, totally confused, like. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. 
Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics. To share. <laughs> to share. Yeah, great. Is there anything down here? No. Oh, okay. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. <laughs> All right, buddy. Oh, that's awesome. Oh. That's convenient. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. <laughs> oh my god. Smooth jazz, there we go. That's what I exactly what I wanted for my puzzles. Sound like the beginning of a sitcom. This is awesome, by the way. I don't know if I've said that yet, but this is pretty gnarly. I don't exactly know why I'm here. Like, I was in, like, some super deep sleep. <laughs> and now... Now this happened. So, I slept through this. That's one thing we know is I'm a heavy sleeper. Which is interesting. We're gonna need things going on both of these here. And we have another one down here, maybe? You know. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard <laughs> any undeserved compliments. Let's <laughs> disregard any undeserved compliments. Oh shit. Yoink. Oh no. This is amazing. What? That's it? Let's see. What's up here? Whoa. But he's going crazy. Unreason. So these were like the little uh, places where they'd watch you from in the first one, I guess. That's cool. Okay, well... Uh, this is where I'm going to end the first episode. Obviously not a lot going on here, but I don't want to make a large buffer also between uh, when I record these these videos because I know you guys have lots to say about this world and lots to say about Portal, and uh, I'm interested to see uh, what I can find based on your tips. So thank you guys very much for watching. This is uh, Portal 2, and uh, it's... <laughs> I can tell this is already going to be an amazing game. I'm going to have a ton of fun with it. And, uh... I'm probably going to get made fun of by that freaking little robot. A lot. And, I mean... He's probably right to do so. Thanks, everyone. Take care.